is up everybody so Saturday I went to Spring Maid Pier I just uploaded that video I did okay really couldn't catch a decent Spanish uh, Sunday yesterday I went to Apache Pier and couldn't catch anything to save my life I caught a couple of ribbon fish early in the morning and that was it all day I did end up get uh, receiving half of a king mackerel that had gotten bit by a shark and I'm doing a catch and cook on that anyways it's Monday and got something pretty cool going on today I'm heading down to the crazy sister marina because I figure if I can't catch them from land, might as well try on a, from sea, or boat, I guess. Uh, going down to meet Captain Robert Orr, he works out of the Crazy Sister Marina, he's a charter captain, and he offered to take me out to see what we can get going on out there. He said, he just got, he's just about to get back from a trip, and he said kings and Spanish were jumping all over the place, so I'm really hoping to get on some nice Spanish, and... It'd be cool to get a nice red too. Uh, I'm still trying to beat my personal best, which is like only like 28 inches. So stay tuned. We will be there soon. It's going to be my first time meeting him. So expect some awkwardness. <laughs> but anyways, yep, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, everybody, we made it down to the arena. We got Captain Robert and Deckhand Joe. How are you doing, guys? I was gonna let him talk to y'all and tell him what he tell tell y'all what he does. Yeah, hey guys, my name is Cat Robert. I uh, own and operate one of the vessels of Fish Finder Fishing Charters. This is my fleet here. Uh, we take people inshore, near shore fishing. We're all about the fun family fishing adventure. Uh, I saw Mason was doing some awesome videos. I was like, hey man, come on, get on the boat, let's go fishing. And uh, you know, in this video, be surprised, got some cool fish going. What would you think, Joe? Did you have fun? I had a great time. He's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> They uh, definitely helped me spice up an otherwise slow weekend, so. Okay. That's what we try to do. trolling right now for some Spanish uh, looking for bait and everything but hopefully we'll hook up soon got fish on y'all it feels weird reeling right handed I usually go left yeah Down and right, hold your rod. You, you watch the fish. Hold the rod, hold the rod. Watch your fish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nice. First fish of the day. Big old nice. fan. Check him out. There you go, buddy. Grab your, grab your spanish there. I don't see a cheap in that bad boy. Let's see if we will fog action. Tough, yeah. Got him. Right, throw that right there. Oh, show me that fish. Look at there, man. Nice fish. Nice. Throw him in the cooler, buddy. You want to take some home? Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Nice. All right. Nice. Oh, look at that bait ball, guys. I'm still getting used to recording new things. That's a good one. It might have popped off.
step. Damn right. Come here. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> here, buddy. You want to find that one? Oh, blood everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Look at there. Love it. The other one's still. Captain Roberts going out as a usury crystal minnow. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Similar to a large crystal minnow. But what we're doing is we're trolling a sandbar that's off the coast a little bit right here. He says that's where the bait hangs out and all the predatory fish go after them. So uh, hopefully we can hook up something crazy here in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. I think we see some stuff blowing up, y'all. Let him relax for a second. We also got these. I'll just hold on to them. Yeah, that helps. I think you have a cannonball in it. Look at your rod, bro. <laughs> yeah, I get bit all the time by the smaller ones, but those look like they might actually take a chunk, chunk off. Chunk, oh, yeah, you can chunk. Yeah. Be careful with those. Well, we got the grabber. There you go, my man. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one there. There we go. All right, now. Going off. Oh god, get him Joe. What is it, Joe? I think it might be a Spanish. Spanish? Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks like a big jelly ball to me. <laughs> Jeez. Dang, I wanted to get in the structure it's a bigger bigger fish a little interference but that's, that was a bigger fish for sure you want to tell everybody how far we just went and so we uh we went about 11 miles we're we're out at uh at one of our near shore reefs and the drum are hanging out here it's a nice big redfish we're gonna hit the bottom and see if we can get a couple redfish we got our other boat out here just fighting fighting one already so we decided to roll up see if we can get us a couple let's do it put the big uh, one on Favorite animal. Oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, I know. Rookie over here. Hey, I'm just gonna pull up here and put a spread out. Alright, y'all, I'm about to throw a mullet out. Right here. We're gonna put him out under the jaw. Right through the head. Just get a little toss. Leave that 
Give me a piece, Dylan. This braid dug a little bit on some of them big ass fish down there in Florida. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sticky, yeah. I think a couple of times one of them uh, Goliaths. Is that leave the bell open the whole time? No, no. no. Oh, okay. Just make sure it gets slack when it hits the bottom. Fish on. Little pinfish. That's a good drum bait, too. That one might be a little big. Nice. Don't try. How'd you let that big one get away, though? It wouldn't eat. I had to pick the big gaffer. Guys, I'll get the bucket tomorrow. You guys have fun? Oh, yeah. I'll leave it on your boat. Yeah, we got a couple nice reds. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, ride your congressman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Darn. Young man. At least somebody's eating tonight. Don't you let him have none of your flounder, buddy. <laughs> have fun, guys. See you guys later. That's a decent pinfish. Pinfish for dinner, guys. That John, uh, Carolina Shore Fishing, he made ceviche with them. I've heard of people doing goofy shit. I, I, I'm sure they're edible, but, you know. When you can have something better. Yeah. Well, I just don't feel like cleaning this shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Out here, people, it's like four o'clock. We're gonna come back early. There, there we go. Nice. That's definitely funnier than the white one. That's why I love throwing that gotcha with that little ugly stick. Oh, nice. Thanks, Steve, man. That bad boy out. Such a pretty fish. They are. That's why I didn't know for a long time they had to be 14 because they just look like aquarium fish. So, it's 14 state. But there's no size limit federal. Really? So technically, we're outside of state waters, but we have to bring them back into state waters. So, uh, there's a I mean? chance. Exactly. Nice. Playing that like it was a good one. Dude, this is good. Look at this. Nice. <laughs> 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 That's right. A little mini gaff. 
when you want to edit it. You know? You do. There you go. Dang. Woo! That might actually be a keeper one. Nah, he's just feisty. Nice. Yeah, those are way bigger than ones I catch on the pier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give him a release. You want Damn! Good lord! Yeah. Gotta get a little bit of light rod action, huh? Oh yeah! Where are they? They were left on your face. The only thing I really like about the other sticks is you don't have to worry about the plastic. That one's a fat one. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, you would have had to put them in the cooler because I left them on the back of your bench. I left them out too. I didn't touch them. You sure you didn't accidentally put them up because they were in the uh, shrimp? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> they are all sleeping now. They're still alive though. So th there's some, uh, this is one place we come to catch black drum sheep at too. I, like, I love black drum. Gosh, Joe. Damn. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, the other guy. Oh, you were playing that like <laughs> You were playing that like it was a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. Look at this monster. <laughs> He about needed the gaff. <laughs> That's right. It's a little mini gaff. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. It's fun. There you go. Come on, buddy. Hell yeah. That's a good one. Hello, oh, man. Hello, oh, man. Joe's got him one. Oh yeah, that's a flounder. Swing to me. Turn down on him, buddy. It's a flat one. Good shot, dude. Nice hook yeah. set. Perfect hook set. Just pop right out. Come here, buddy. Somebody do this. Yeah, I'm trying to do it without letting him bite me. There you go. Pretty colors. Yeah. Some of these flounder you can catch look like galaxies. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. Pretty flounder, is Yeah. Let him let him live, huh? Gonna let him go? Yeah, we'll let him go. He's close. He's either 19 or 20. We'll take him for the better. Yeah. That's how you hook a flounder. Oh, come on over here. Oh, shit. Shit, no. Ah, he came loose. Joe. Show them what you got, Joe. Oh, he came back. Oh, just like you. Yes. The doormat. Easy, easy. The doormat. Hopefully, the rod doesn't fly away. 
Check them out. Nice. That's a good one. Well, what do you think, Mace? You want some flounder for dinner? I'll take some flounder. Okay. What do you think, Joe? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Look at that. Right it's out. easy to come on. It's definitely a nice little piece of flounder. See how I felt that thump, but I didn't do anything? Just let it chill. Mace, you gotta take this. <laughs> I knew he was playing with it. <laughs> Are you still rolling? Yeah. Be <laughs> careful. Don't lip him. Yeah, don't lip him. No, no, no. Okay. That's good. It looks like you're going to. I got you. Go over there. Start. Let's see these yet. Let's see this. I was just, please don't take my rod in the water. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up. Joe uh, caught a nice couple of flounder. I caught some spade fish, those were fun. And uh, got some Spanish mackerel in the box too. Hey, uh, got anything you wanna add, Captain Robert? Oh man, yeah, have fun, man. Catch a fish with you. It's a good day for a day all We're gonna head back in. Uh, we'll see you at the, uh, the inlet, or the marina. We're gonna clean these fish. We see stuff like this, we gotta pick it up. That's good, good on y'all. Best catch of the day. Uh, we think we're the bad guys sometimes being the charter boats. We're yeah. The, we're the one cleaning up the mess. But happy birthday. Whoever it was. <laughs> trying to kill the manatees. <laughs>
I could do this side conventional. What you were talking about is you go down, right down the spine like so. And then you just take your blade, slide it in one way, take your blade, slide it in the other way, and you just work your way down. And I'm pretty perverse, or you know, to adverse at being able to do either way. I just prefer the, uh, the large fillet just because it shows off a little bit better sometimes. <laughs> You can go a little bit smaller if you're gonna fry them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you're gonna fry them, you're gonna cut them into some nuggets or anything. Nice. So you just, uh, get some fin bone there, come back and slide that right off. I said no road, road head this time, went right over. I'll buy you a peanut No, he's got the Mustang. I said, give me a ride. No, this is worse. I said, give me a ride. The biggest thing is trusting, no road head trusting like your blade. Like Keeping it short. Yep. Yeah, it's flexible. You know, I'm not you trust your blade. Having a sharp knife is a knife that doesn't cut you. Every time I Google something, I gotta do this. Every once in a while, you're a little fan. What happened? It's a retard time. It's a retard time. How many bicycles? You don't want to go with these little guys, the little finlets, man. They taste really good. That's what I heard. I love that little that little ripple down the side. A lot of people pull that off. Man, that's good. That's the tenderloin. That's good stuff. There's not much left on that bad boy. Take her thin.